Hello, hello! Perfidious Bead here, back and ready to finish some research and end this campaign like Orange is the New Black in XCOM War of the Chosen. And you Netflix aficionados out there are probably like, Pete, Orange is the New Black is not over yet. And uh, you know what? Is it? Is it not over? I think we all know that it actually is. I mean, sure, I'm like you. I remember the good old days when OITNB, as the in crowd calls it, Back when it was the new hotness, back when it was the Netflix darling that was ready to prove to the world that new media is here to stay and that it is, in fact, a force to be reckoned with. And then, like, season, I don't know, probably after season three, that shit just hit the wall like Lindsay Lohan getting fired out of a catapult on her 26th birthday. Just bam, instantly, it went from the only thing on television that anybody cared about to the TV equivalent of a necrotic leper whose finger just fell into the seven layer dip at a Super Bowl party. It's just like nobody gives a single shit anymore. Also, it got kind of bad. That's that's the other reason. It kind of got a little, a little just, it's, it's bad though. It's deader than that leper's rotting finger. Uh, you know a series is dead when not even making Captain Janeway a flagship carrier can keep it afloat. That's how you know. She was Mrs. Columbo for crying out. We want to get to the end of this campaign. Uh, the, the Reapers, I feel like we've got a team that's ready to take on the final mission. But in order to do that, we've got some storyline missions. And I'm probably going to clean up the Chosen in all honesty before we go hit it just for, you know, funsies. And mostly to shut them up. I mean, the Warlock... Hunter, they're still around there. They're interrupting the shit out of us. We should very much like them to not do that. Oh, would the spaceship teleported. We're probably going to have to do at least one Avenger defense because Bradford's on the job. And there's speaking of hitting the wall like Lindsay Lohan getting fired out of a catapult. The surface, yes. John Bradford, that same paradigm going with enemy UFOs. Evasive maneuvers for Bradford just There's means no crashing into the nearest visible object. Possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Uh huh. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host, prisoners, or perhaps. Yeah, even we know, Doctor Tigan. The aliens are turning humans into Advent troopers. We don't really care. However, the reality is something else. Look on the bright side, Doctor Tigan. You can grind them down into Advent burgers. You've got probably, what, like 80 to 90 kilos of top prime Advent Burger meat right there on your slab? All you need, dude, is a meat grinder. A, probably a flensing knife and a deboner of some variety. It seems like you'd want the bones picked out of that. Yep. In all cases, human My love for you is like a truck, a Berserker. Agent, at this point, it's basically obligatory material. reference. I think I'm contractually the obligated the to make a reference to the song Sorry. Berserker anytime somebody the says the word Berserker. Soldier manufacturing process. Would you like to making so fuck, by the way, Berserker? Time. In a way, but I believe there's more to it than that. In all ways, there's both more to it and less to it, Dr. Tigan. Let's just wrap this shit up. We don't care about psionic activity or sensitivity. We have bullets and we have guns. It's all we need. I have explosives. You know what's more powerful than the most devastating psionic blast? A claymore mine, Dr. Tigan. A claymore mine. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Can you just give me my significant glance, by the way, guys, so we can just get out of this scene? Just turn and look at the camera. Continue your research. Go back to the over-the-shoulder shot. You find anything else. Then look at the camera. Give me that meaningful glance that says, once again, it's up to you to save us from ourselves. And we can just uh, get on with our day. Save everybody a little bit of time. I am ready to begin on your order. Do we have any projects in the Shadow Chamber? We still have the body of the recovered alien I'm, I'm working on it. I can begin an autopsy at any time. For once, Dr. Tigan, I'm actually going to choose to not indulge your kink. Never mind. Maybe I will indulge it because the Avatar autopsy cannot be completed until we've made contact with this new region and unlocked the gateway, I think. So let's give you something to do. It doesn't really matter what it is. Berserker. Assassin Weapons is inspired, I guess. Not damn, whatever. Is eager to begin, Commander. I'm eager for you to shut the hell up, Dr. Tigan. That's what I'm eager for you to do. I'm eager for you to finish that completely pointless research. That was pretty quick. 
Did this inspiration give us another inspiration? That's mostly what I care about. We can't actually use these reinforced heavy armor. That one we're going to do. Berserker Autopsy is instant. All right, well, we'll get this that out of the way. Some creature. Dr. Tygen's kink will not be denied. It's clearly a genetic relation. Yeah, my love for you is like a truck. Species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as a uh, total rain. obsession for Lady Gaga. For Man, how awesome would it be if we could put Lady Gaga in the Berserker Queen meat suit? If only, if only Reapers could wear the specialty armor. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. Look out. We'll be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. When he says file his report, just be aware that uh, the report involves his penis. He's going to file it in that berserker. Because that's what Dr. Tygen does. On the plus side, reinforced heavy armor is actually super good for us. It's just an extra point of armor for all of our team. Kristen Stewart has recovered from her wounds. And since the UFO is over here, you know what I think we might do? Let's go hit the black market very quickly. We got money to burn. We don't really have a lot of intel to burn, but we need some more weapon mods, expanded magazines and repeaters specifically is what we're in the market for here. Get a few more of our team upgraded and outfitted with execution ability. What do you got for sale? A scope. It's probably worth it. Stock, agility, all the rest of this stuff is complete and total garbage. I am going to buy the superior scope. That'll give us an opportunity to rig up one more of our weapons as like a damage output weapon. We can make one more person a shooter. We might as well get rid of anything we're not using. Uh, skill jack, 200 alien alloys. We don't probably go down to like 150 p why you selling all these alloys we got nothing left to build it's not like we're making spark suits or war suits or even any additional weapon upgrades we don't need that got no use for it we don't even have a way to get rid of it we also have 10 illyrium cores which we're not using advent mech rex we might get an upgraded gremlin and i think the gremlin upgrade may be one of the few things that we could still find helpful specter corpses aren't good for anything Superior laser sight. We're never going to use that, though. Let's get rid of that. Superior stock. You know, we're never going to use it, actually. And what we could use are some... We should build another set of blue screen rounds. We can... That's a good... That's a good opportunity for us to use. I think those take an Illyrium core. We could at least make use of it that way. What's going on here? Covert action. All right. Well, the Avatar project in one month, we've reduced it by, like, six points because unlike... Unlike uh, The Chosen, we're actually good at our jobs. So Avatar Project Progress down by two. Let's assign a new covert action here. What do we want to get? Probably Hunt the Chosen Hunter. I th unless we have something else that gives us... I mean, recruiting a Templar gives us a promotion, but we would then immediately have to fire the Templar. So I'm having trouble justifying those anymore. If we, wanted, if we needed another Colonel Reaper, sure, we could do that and then just convert him. Gaining ability points would actually be pretty useful. Could form a bond... You know, forming a bond is actually pretty useful. Let's do it this time between two people who are not bonded so we can establish that. Like, let's say the bond we've been trying to get formed for a billion, billion, trillion years, which is Matthew McConaughey and Kirsten Dunst. Will we spend 25 supplies to negate the fact that one of these guys comes back wounded? Absolutely. Four days, you guys go handle that. In the meantime, back to the overworld map here. We don't care about any of these investigatables. We just want to avoid the UFO so we don't have to fight off an ambush mission. Those things are super irritating. Although with all Reapers, I guess, you know what? It wouldn't really be that irritating. Mostly it'd be us stealthing our way to the spike, throwing a couple claymores at it, detonating those claymores, and then leaving. The difficult part would be keeping Advent from getting onto the Avenger. I feel like Reapers would not be exceptionally good at that part of the UFO defense. Might be an interesting challenge. Once again, Skip Bradford is on the scene, ready to make contact with your potential Haven faction. Would you like to join the resistance? Call Skip Bradford today. That's 1-800-888-SKIP. Skip Bradford is there for you. Fantastic. We can also go make contact with New Chile if we should like. Oceania, the Oceania benefit is actually unlocked for us. All right. 
Well, obsession, panic, etc. only last one turn. That's not really relevant. All. This mission, though, is gonna suck. Well, actually, I do have an idea what's waiting for me down this path. It's Archons and Chrysalids. That's actually going to be an extraordinarily difficult mission for us. Let's go look in the armory and see if we have our premier team available. The answer is no. We need to wait one more day. Let's go find a way to kill 24 hours. I'm, you know, Bradford would probably recommend a drink and binge. I can't necessarily in good conscience recommend that, but it would be a way to do it. We could make contact over here in Western Africa, potentially pick up the continent bonus, not that we need it, but it does unlock an additional facility for us as well. And it only costs 40 intel because we have radio beacons already in the neighborhood. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We don't really need to, though, Lily. I, we're, we're good, though. All of our primary mission objectives are contacted. We have ample safety valve opportunities available. Matthew McConaughey and Kirsten Dunst have formed their bond. We should get a new covert action up and running. I'm thinking it's Hunt the Chosen Hunter time. And they did such a good job last time. I don't see any particular reason to not send them this time. Snoop, Dave. You guys are our covert options specialist. And take, you know what? Take Cameron Diaz along with you. If just she can keep an eye on you for the ride and negate the risk that anybody gets captured. We're cool with that. Confirm that action. It's not like we're going to need Cameron Diaz for anything in the near future anyway. A sentiment that seems pretty popular these days amongst Hollywood casting agents. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm firing shots at uh, Cameron Diaz. I feel like, uh, I feel like your star has faded. Yeah, would you guys, like, form that bond, though? There we go. Custom poster, Dunstan McConaughey, Twin Towers of Pain. Also, it sounds like a law firm specializing in either class action lawsuits or personal injury law. Dunstan McConaughey, have you been injured in an automobile accident? You may be entitled to a large cash settlement. Call Dunstan McConaughey, attorneys at law. You always make that joke, Pete. Yeah, but everybody sounds like a law firm. Is that my fault? Is it my fault that Dunstan McConaughey is definitely the kind of law firm you would see an advertisement for on late night television? You guys still have one day of tired, but it's been a day. Quit dragging your feet. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Well, I guess we're going to be doing a guerrilla operation. I really wouldn't. Uh, whatever. Resistance contacts. Undercover civilians present in this combat zone can be contacted to gain valuable rewards. There is, at this point, no reward that to me is valuable. Also, we don't care about that. We don't care about Viper rounds. There was one event that we want to thwart, and it is not on the list, though. Loyalty among thieves, we don't care about. Viper rounds, we don't care about. We don't need a scientist. Huh. But wasn't there an event that we really, really, really were desperate to stop? Because I remember... It's been like a day or two since I played the last round of XCOM, but I remember there being one dark event that we really wanted to thwart, and I don't think any of these were it. I guess we'll do this mission because, it, and why not? Sectopod, Archon. Archons are to the point where they're starting to get to be a little bit difficult. Bradford, don't crash into the UFO. Okay, thank you. On our way to another mission. I don't think if you're on your way to a mission and a deployment that the UFO can intercept you. Someone on the ground is trying to reach us. I can't make it out. Keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there. Or just maybe, I don't know, how get a police scanner. Call me crazy, but police scanner seems to totally solve that problem. So let's take Keanu Reeves. Let's get uh, the monster Lady Gaga. Give me Matthew McConaughey. Give me my girl Kirsten Dunst. This will give them an opportunity to up their bond. Also, potentially, Matthew McConaughey finally makes Colonel. And then who do we want to take along with them? We could take Hemp Pants and the Wiffle Ball. Hemp Pants and the Wiffle Ball will do. Let's go that route. Wiffle. Make utility items available. Make weapons available. Make armor available. Not that it matters, per se. So who's doing what? Keanu. Let's take a look at... Uh, we don't need to upgrade a weapon. Although we do actually need to upgrade a weapon. First off, we want to change your loadout. Keanu's always our damage shooter. We're looking for scope and superior expanded magazine. It's gonna, you know what? Let's put this on here. No. Well, all right, that's acceptable. 
Except it's not acceptable, Pete, because you don't want Keanu with that weapon. Who has... Uh, it's got to be Woody Hemp Pants Harrelson. Woody, cough of this up. Yeah, Woody's got the green... He's got the green murder monster. So we're going to give you Woody instead. We're going to give you this repeater with the superior expanded magazine. And hold on to that for a minute. Keanu, now let's get you properly equipped here. Keanu's our damage shooter. Or should Keanu be like our piercing shooter? We could put him up with AP rounds. If he has Shredder, we may do that instead. Because with AP rounds on Blood Trail, Keanu's going to do some pretty solid damage. He's got the Banish, he's got the Annihilate, he has Needle. Do you have Shredder or not? Doesn't look like Keanu has Shredder. Spotter bonus, Stand By Me, Teamwork. Okay, he does not have Shredder. You're straight up damage shooter then, Keanu. So we're going to give you... Superior Scope, Superior Expanded Magazine. We're going to get rid of this Frag Grenade, and we're going to give you instead... I should really build some more blue screens, though. We want you to have Dragon Fire rounds. I'm assuming Woody Harrelson is hanging on to those. Yeah, all right, Woody, here, you take the AP round. Actually, you know what, Woody, take Talon rounds, because nobody's going to use those. Give me those Dragon Fire rounds. Keanu is ready to wheel deal fire. He'll be styling, flinging out bullets faster than even Agent Smith can dodge him. Shrapnel, Silent Killer. I believe Lady Gaga has the combo we're looking for here, and that she's got both Shredder and Needle. I really wish this list would scroll faster, though. Just could you speed up the scroll? Just speed it up. Actually, you don't have either of those things. Well, then. Your loadout's going to be simple. Let's give you a scope and a superior repeater. Nah. Superior expanded magazine, superior repeater. Nah. Advanced expanded magazine, a superior autoloader. Let's equip this weapon for you, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into weapon upgrades, and we're going to get rid of this advanced, or this superior autoloader, rather, and replace that with a superior scope. So now we've got a superior scope and an advanced expanded magazine. That makes Lady Gaga another potential damage shooter for us. And we're going to give her those blue screen rounds. She now is Robot Killer Extraordinaire. Lady Gaga, Robot Hunter. Matthew McConaughey, we don't give you anything because you're not a colonel. Hemp Pants, you're not a colonel. Kirsten Dunst, though. She's a colonel. And I'm pretty sure Kirsten has Shredder and Needle. Superior Expanded Magazine. You know what? We're going to give you the Shadow Lance, actually, here. And AP rounds. I'm almost positive Kirsten has the abilities we want. Silent Killer. Yep, Shredder. And you, I know, have Needle. We're just looking for somebody with Needle and Shredder to give these AP rounds to, and we can have them go out and soften up a hard target. But they don't need a ton of bullets because a hard target is only going to need so much softening. If Kirsten Ficus does, you have Shredder, but you don't have... You don't have Needle. Really? How do you not have Needle? You're combat genius. How did you not come through with Needle? Can we give you Needle? Uh, no. We actually need ability. We need three ability points in order to give Kirsten Dunst Needle. Well, you know what? Sorry, Kirsten. It's going to have to do. If all you're going to be doing is shredding armor, it doesn't really matter. We're probably overthinking this a little bit. Woody Hemp Pants Harrelson. What weapon have you got? You got a repeater and a superior expanded magazine. I'll allow it. Talon rounds for you. I'm going to actually give you a med kit instead. McConaughey, I don't know if we have a gun for you. We might. What can we give Maddie Mac? A superior expanded magazine, a superior repeater. Somebody needs to be our execution shooter. And you know what, Matthew McConaughey? You have regular banish, but not annihilate. So when it comes to looking to execute one target, you're pretty reliable in that respect. Kristen Stewart, you have Shredder, and you have... I guarantee she's going to have... Needle. You have Needle, don't you, Kristen? Come on, scroll it up there. Do you, you, I, no, you don't have Needle either. Well, we don't have a gun for you, so why don't you just hang on to that Shadow Lance? We'll call the day and get out on the damn mission already. We've wasted enough time, folks. There's work to be done. We got Chosen to hunt. We got a campaign to end. We got a UFO for Bradford to fly into the side of so we can try and puzzle out how we're going to go eliminate that spike while still defending the Avenger. We got a lot of stuff that's on the plate here. We've already gone back for seconds, and we haven't even cleaned our first plate first. 
You know the sign at the old smorgasbord there. It's take all you want, but eat all you take, because they hate food waste at a buffet, all-you-can-eat style. That's exactly their top priority, is to eliminate food waste. They're super concerned about product cost. They don't care about food waste. It's, it's the product cost that they care about. They'd be like, no, this is friendly for the environment. You know, we can donate this food to the homeless. Be like, yeah, well, you're just looking to keep your product cost down. And also, those donations don't act like you're doing it out of some sense of altruism. You're deducting the cost of all that food you give away. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. I've seen your tax returns. So we've got a tank that will explode very nicely. Maybe we got a chance for some remote start action here. I love it when we could get a good combo of remote start. Neutralize all enemy targets. Not a fact. Probably one of those civilians. Keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there. Yeah, I'm gonna rush up and go stand next to civilians because that's high on my list of things that it's usually a smart to do. Well, as far as remote starts go, we got a lot of opportunities here. Unfortunately, those guys are not quite close enough. So let's snag ourselves a little bit of cover here. See where this team wants to uh, get out to. We do, this is not a timed mission, protect the data interceptor device. So these guys are going to be making moves and trying to blow it up. We need to get up there pretty darn quick then. I understand. We're moving, folks. This is a PDQ scenario. I understand. You're fast enough to hit the garbage can, Woody Harrelson. No place for, you. for an old guy, Woody Harrelson's got some legs on him, though, huh? PD saying Woody Harrelson has sexy legs. Do you think he has sexy legs? I've never really looked at his legs, so I can't say. I think a guy with a name like Harrelson, though, would have extraordinarily hairy calves. Come over here and stand by this gigantic exploding tank, though. No? All right. Got a robot in here. It's going to take a shot at the device. Did quite a bit of damage to it, actually. And there's the sectopod. Those guys are subtle. The sectopods, you can never tell where they're at until it's too late. They're devious. So, we can catch two people in the explosion from that. Alright. Not the Archon, though, which is a shame. So, whip this here. Trap is set. If we go one Claymore, then we remote detonate that vehicle. All that stuff's going to go up in smoke. We should get the kill on two of those units straight out from the damage of the remote start. And we'll get some Claymore damage on the Archon. There we go. Robot down. Stun Lancer down. Archon still on his feet, though. Wiffle Ball cannot get the kill. Do we have a Deadeye on this team? If we have somebody who can get a shot at that guy with Deadeye, we might. We do not. I was hopeful we might be able to conserve our use of sting. There's a patrol up there. Let's go ahead. No, don't sting those guys, though. Sting this Archon. Only an 89% chance to hit here, thanks to the high defense of the Archon. We still delivered, and now this man is dead, even if he happens to dodge it. So Archon's going down. We're all still totally concealed, by the way, so we got nothing to worry about here. Lady Gaga... Let's get you... You know what? Come snatch this intel. and I hope this doesn't reveal you. It shouldn't. It did not. Okay, that was worth 39 supplies. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. That didn't really seem like a great use of Lady Gaga's time, but... Hey, free is free. 35 supplies. On an ordinary mission where everybody didn't start concealed, that would be this like going after these supplies would actively be a terrific, just like a terrifically stupid idea. I go where you tell me. It's only because we've got the advantage of 100% night walking stealth that we can get away with this. Woody Harrelson, don't miss because you will be revealed. He did not miss. No one will mourn. Archon's dead. That means we should have, like, one more pod and then probably a sectopod to deal with. And after that, we're cruising. We're styling. We're golden. I can get there. We're as creamy as grandma's ham gravy. There's an alien patrol 
Maybe don't have ham gravy, though. It's just, if you're going to go for your gravy, you got to go sausage gravy, man. Ham gravy? Nah. Nah. Not ham. Go full bore and get some sausage out there. This guy has already done 16. Don't stomp on the thing, though, you jerk. Well, he stomped on everything. But on the plus side, we do have a nice little uh, collection of foes to begin liberally splattering with explosives. So let's open this up. We're going to be able to get one claymore on target. And can we catch everybody with that? We cannot. I mean, we can, well, we can't even catch the sectopod without also catching the thing. That's not going to fly. Maybe Lady Gaga will be our button man. We may have her go for the detonation. We've got other folks we can get closer. We're not going to be able to throw a claymore through that window, though. This church is actually proving to be somewhat non-cooperative. It's like when they started investigating uh, whether or not they were, you know, touching little boys. They'd be like, you know, we're going to be less cooperative than you might expect in this scenario. Be like, but but why though? Like, yeah. Oak says I am to obey. Contrarian. We don't have a good explanation. It's just, you know, the we don't want to. That should be reason enough for you. So that claymore's definitely going off. That one's going to catch a very solid collection of enemies. Lady Gaga can detonate it for us. We need one more really good claymore up in that neighborhood, though. This is super risky for Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten, is this window... Are you going to be able to throw through this window? I don't think so. What can you see? Well, no, it says you can see everything, so you should be able to throw through it. As you order, Commander. If you can see through it, you should be able to throw through it. She absolutely can. This is not as good as I might like, though. This... Objective is really hamstring. Would you just stop it? Camera? The objective is really kind of hamstringing us here. That's two. I'd really like to get one more up in there if we could. Imp pants is not going to be quick enough. Well, we could run him up here. That leaves him fairly exposed. Wiffle ball. I don't suppose there's like any chance. You know what? Wiffle Ball can drop one in there. That's triple claymores on top of a sectopod. I got a feeling that this is going to bring down the house. Let's go ahead and take the shot. Fire the weapon. A lot of stuff exploded there. I don't know specifically what was what. We set this church on fire, too. I don't, I don't necessarily feel super good about that. We are not going to get that elite purifier. These guys are active now, though, and I really, really don't relish the thought of them coming running for the rich taste of XCOM. Keanu, I need you to be able to see that purifier. I don't know why Woody Harrelson can see it and you can't. Come here. I am on the move. We're going to go for a little combo plate here. Woody, I want you to sting him. And then we're going to have Keanu shoot for the kill. Or alternatively, you could use that badass repeat of yours and just execute his ass. Or you could just straight up kill him outright. Woody Harrelson finally making Colonel. Straight up kill there, too. Elite Trooper, we are not going to straight up kill you, but this seems like a very solid opportunity to put some free damage on you with a little bit of Stinga. Nine damage for you and enjoy that burning. And we don't even need to shoot at that man ever again. He's going to burn and die on his next turn. Let's see what his reaction is. He should move to cover because he's on fire now. Nope. All right. He's going to shoot the thing. If that sectopod could step away from the thing, though. Nah, he's going to make sure and stand right next to it so that when he explodes. Well, he's going to die, explode, and kill his friend. He's real confused, though. We must have uh, damaged one of his targeting circuits. When we shot him initially. I feel a little bad for him. That's the kind of wound that doesn't really heal. Kirsten Dunst. All right, where's Lady Gaga? She's actually our robot killer. Lady Gaga, you can bring down the house with this psychopod, right? You can damn near flat out kill it. You know what? Just hit him with the Stinga. Take him down. No chance to be revealed. Huge damage. If this crits, it's a kill. It didn't crit, but we've got three very weakened enemies. This is this mission is over. It's just we're gonna hit him with the old one, two, three. 
we're going to give him the one, two, three Z. In fact, I'm so confident, Woody Harrelson, I'm going to have you come and rescue this civilian rather than killing stuff. Would you find a new pod? 38 more supplies. Keanu, we don't need to shoot that man, though. Just let him die. Let nature take its course, Keanu. Don't interfere. This is the natural order. This is a circle of life kind of thing. It's the circle of fire. It burns us all. You know, I think you may have confused that with a Johnny Cash tune. That one's actually Ring of Fire. I go where you tell me. I'm telling you to come over here and... Oh, hey, there's two Archons back there. Oh, all right. I'm glad we have chosen not to reveal ourselves. This robot, though, is now a bit of a problem. I guess we'll hit him with the Stinga. Soften him up. You know, it kind of defeats the purpose of Stinga-ing when you're just smashing windows left and right. Thurston, you want to finish off the robot? It's nice that you're like got a good bloodthirst going here and that you want to kill that burning man, but let's let that Utah-based music festival just run its course. What do you say? Let's let the burning man burning man. You don't go to Burning Man and interrupt the festival. That is just not cool. I need to reload. Kirsten Dunst, we're going to have reload. I think we'll have probably everybody reload, and then we'll just execute these Archons when they come over here. And they should come this way because they're going to be attempting to do damage to the thing now, which did get pretty badly injured. All right, you guys are all dumb. You're all bone, though. Okay, hemp pants. You don't have a shot. That's beautiful. Keanu, reload. If we have you go for the banish, you got 79 six times. Do it. You are leaving. Keanu will be revealed by this action, but we don't care. These are the last enemies on the map. Also, Keanu has assured us that this man is leaving the planet. I'm assuming. He didn't give us specifically like an object for that sentence. He just said, you are leaving. There was no uh, predicate. It's not really a predicate nominative, but there was no object in the predicate to tell us specifically where he felt that that man was going to leave from. So we just got to kind of work on instinct. I'm assuming it's just the planet by default. It's the understood object. It's implied, not implicit. Well, there's one very angry burning Archon who's very confused and also very dead. At this point, when there's a giant hole blown in the wall, Kirsten Dunst, by several explosives and the church is on fire, did you really need to break that window? All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Was the window breaking absolutely... I mean, that just seems needlessly destructive. Kirsten Dunst vandalizing churches. Advent, well, this... Actually, this picture... Woody Harrelson, what's with the over-the-shoulder anime pose? I... I like it. I mean, it looks badass. It's cool. It's intimidating. Advent will burn because Woody Harrelson is here to burn them. Much like he burned the bridges with Juliette Lewis after Natural Born Killers. They've never worked together again. Something happened there. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows. Plotting to we, yeah, you're right. Speaker Ryan, we do lurk in the shadows. We're Reapers, all of us. Lurking in the shadows is kind of what we do, actually. The Elders love you, blah, blah, blah. This message brought to you by the Elder Council, the letter E. Our troops continue to exceed expectations. It's about time that Woody Harrelson got promoted, although I'm still a little salty that the Wiffle Ball has yet to achieve maximum rank. So you're going to take Annihilate because it's amazing. With 15 points left, I don't know what else we might give you. I'm leaning towards Deadeye. Homing Mine is interesting, but you already have every other ability we're even remotely interested in. So you know what? Yeah, pick up Deadeye. One extra point there left over for Woody Harrelson. We picked up a repeater as loot. Not ideal, but... We will probably equip it. Sectopod breakdown is now available. 195 supplies. We countered an alien. So we countered alien infiltrator, but I don't I think that just ramps up the time before the next, uh, like, Haven assault, potentially. Kristen Stewart and Woody Harrelson. Yeah, go improve that. You guys can be level two bonded. Kirsten and Woody renewing their vows in a beautiful L.A. ceremony. 
This is going to be Paris Hilton. No, I don't want to bond Paris Hilton and Tommy Chong. It's a May-December romance. It could never work out. It's not like Paris Hilton's marrying Tommy Chong for the money either. She's not going to be one of those May brides in a May-December. If you're going to be the bride in a May-December relationship, can you get married in the month of June? Because everybody wants to be a June bride, but you would be a May bride in a May-December relationship. It's an interesting conundrum. Is that even legal? Probably not. But you're talking about May-December relationships and what month is the best month to get married. When we all know clearly the answer is September. So just end the episode. All right, fine, I will. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to reserve the Perfidious Pete estate for your September wedding, I consider subscribing as well. New episodes of XCOM every single day. Services performed daily by the Reverend Pete. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Seriously, though, I am an ordained minister. I could actually marry you. Not a joke.